Hey everyone, welcome back. This is a quick introduction about Hoss Starter Kit. Okay, so let us see what Hoss Starter Kit is all about. This is currently available for free, so you can easily download it and create a project out of it. So we'll just go through what it has and also how to migrate the Hoss uh, project into a different project. Start working on it. So <clears throat> let us start with this. So this was primarily built using Maya. ZBrush. So <clears throat> this particular project has exactly like three different kinds of meshes, so three different blueprints for each kinds of horses, and also there is a basic NPC which is happening around in which the horse is able to move across this entire land. Okay, so let's get to the game. So once we create a project out of it, you might it might take few time to actually get this running. So this actually has a a lot of shaders which has to be compiled so it takes a bit of a time so let's start let's you can first see that there is this player mounted to the horse <clears throat> and press f to call your horse and hold shift to gallop press e to mount your horse so data is actually pretty much available here what we should be doing the inputs everything is available let's click on the play button Okay, so as you click on the play button, you see that the player is spawned at a different point. Now there is no player mounted to any horse. Okay, so yeah, you can see one of the horse which is actually running by itself. Now that is an NPC horse. So probably there might be target points, splines, or blueprint. So let me just press the button F, call the horse. You can see both these horses are running towards me. Okay, so let's just go nearby and press E. Okay. So now there is this animation played and I think there is a shift from the third person character to the character which was earlier seen on the horse. So pressing W, A, S, D, okay, works as usual. It has moves like this. Okay, good. Okay, uh, when we press the shift button, you can see the field of view actually changes a little and it starts running and press the space bar make the horse jump doesn't look so cool but it's okay now uh, yeah you can still see the horses are running i think i'm sure they are running based on some ai target points or something let's okay we got some controls in the joystick over here mount horse call run jump correct yeah. that's pretty much it so yeah you can just move the horse as well move the camera as well you can see some npc characters are actually moving from one point to another so it's pretty much based on a target point. So let's see how it works. Okay. So that is it. Now let's get into the blueprint. So when you start with the contents over here, horse starter content, you can see the animations, blueprints, environment, etc. So horse mesh, you can see that is the first thing. So getting the horse into the game is the first thing. Now what I would suggest is you can actually make this movement even a lot better. I would say by including them with a little more. Uh, better animations and also the smoothening out the movement so you can see here when i start playing the game and i actually mount one of the horses the movements are pretty like yeah you know it's like all of a fast and you can see there are some lags lagging in the animation there is some lag so yeah this could be made better but yeah probably they would be coming up with a better update for the same one but still if you want to use a horse in your game definitely this is a good one to go with Next, let's go into the animation. So, animation, there are a few animations available here, but let's go to the blueprint. So, two important characters one is a horse, another is a rider. So, let's get into the horse, and you can see that the event graph. So, in the event graph, yeah, just checking the validity of the particular pawn. So, while mounting and dismount, there is no particular animation, no movement, anything going on, so it would restrict the movement. At this particular point next is to check whether it is in air okay and then setting the speed of the blend space so this is to calculate the movement whether idle walking or running etc and setting the direction as well let's get into the anim graph so there is one state machine there is no default slot open the state machine and it's pretty simple idle run jump etc is something that we already have for all the person characters so in, within idle run you have this blend space available it's a 2d blend space so you can see that uh, clicking the control button and moving the cursor you can see that it's moving in different directions it's pretty smooth okay yep and yep <clears throat> now getting back 
the speed and the direction similar to the third person how you set it up it's going to be the same way uh, let's jump into the graph again so there is some other animation for the horse as well as for the rider for the mount left right and dismount so you can just go through that i'll get back to the rider the rider too will have a similar graph it's to find out the variable details and also in the state machine you will have the same kind of states so for example let's see the mount left state for the uh, player so you can see it's in the one in which the character is actually mounting to the top of the horse so let me tell you one another thing here so when you start playing this game yeah this is the player start and you can see the characters are actually held up on the top of this horse so let's go to the blueprint so in the blueprint you will see that when you are beginning the play and this is the viewport you have the character attached to it as soon as you begin the play the horse rider is actually hidden in the game and at a later point if you go into the level blueprint you will understand that once the character is actually um, mounted has mounted or possessed the horse it would just show the character there so it is actually a transition from a third person character to a uh, animation and then from there to the character which is already mounted on the horse so we are just uh, uh, like removing the hidden state of it so it will be available back now that is pretty much about the horse character and when you get back to it also uh, in the level blueprint you would see one more thing that most of the an uh, movement so uh, movements to the target points you can see the npcs running around most of them are actually handled by using target points so you can see the target points are available here and it's a simple ai move too okay so we can see the target points over here that's target point number 1 2 that is 10 so it has around say 22 target points available so it would just loop across it they have it in a different format they just keep going from one to another but rather you can actually add them into an array and then keep moving next is the environment so it's pretty basic whatever it's a very simple environment you can obviously replicate it or create a new one and when i press the press the button p you can see the ai track the nav mesh bounds volume is actually available here the red represents the areas where we cannot uh, actually have the npc go to and the green represents the area where you can actually the nav mesh bounds volume is active that is pretty much it and also here you can see the different kinds of animations available idle walk trot and gallop yeah. that is pretty much about the horse starter kit so you can easily migrate it into one of your projects so this is not possibly the best i would say if we compare to games like red redemption 2 or something you can see better high quality horses but yeah it is not available for us in unreal but this is definitely something you can actually get with uh, creating a new game so any game that you want to create and has horses and such animations you can easily export this entire project so entire horse start kit you can obviously exclude certain details unwanted details but still this is a perfect example of how to work on a horse starter kit thanks guys with that we'll see you in a later